Hello and welcome back for another VeChain price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening here on the VeChain chart where you can see that on the 10th of June, we saw this massive crash in the market in a, in a breakdown move that gave us a new beer market low at around the $0.0132 mark. And afterwards, VeChain has been trying to recover to the upper side, where I have also been trying to track a five wave move to the upside, where you can see that I have this additive structure in yellow where I'm terming that as the first wave to the upside. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave too. And I gave you minimum target areas for this second wave, highlighted on the charts using this red target area, which is an area that I came up with by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, giving me a minimum retestment area for that second wave between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618. And you can see that we have been able to get into that minimum retestment area. And I'm now waiting for VeChain to give us a reaction of this target area and give us a massive bounce to the upside in the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3. So soon I'm expecting VeChain to give us a bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas for that third wave to the upside by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a target area for that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.01961 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect VeChain to do in the formation of that wave 3. And for that to also play out, I'm expecting VeChain to first give us a break above the wave 1 high at around the $0.01644 mark. And the moment we manage to break above that, at least that move will be showing some impulsiveness in the formation of that wave 3. And the high chances that VeChain is going to get to the next key area of resistance at around the $0.01798 mark. And the moment we manage to break above that, we can watch out for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up to fully maximize our minimum target areas in the formation of that wave 3. That is the first move that we can expect here on the VeChain chart. On the worst case scenario, in case further breakdown continues, then we can expect VeChain to get back into this uh, target area for this larger AD12 count 2. And within this target area, we can find support. And within the target area, we can expect another bounce back to the upside, giving us the start of that impulsive move to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. And in case we continue seeing further breakdown, we can extend our target area here on the charts back to the FIB level 0 0.78 since it's still a minimum retracement area for that second wave. And a break below the FIB level 0 0.78 at around the $0.01389 mark would be suggesting an even more bearish scenario here on the VeChain chart. So we also need to keep our eyes on that in case further breakdown continues. So let's be patient and see that, how that plays out, whether we are going to see a reaction of this area in an impulsive move to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. And also have in mind that in case VeChain continues to gear up, give us a complete 5 wave move to the upside, then from that point we can expect an ABC corrective structure to follow. And once you see a 5 wave move followed by an ABC corrective structure, that would be enough confirmation that this could be now the new bear market law and that we have started an impulsive move to the upside in what we could term as a larger area to have count, uh, count one to the upper side. So that is what I have in mind here on the VeChain chart. 
Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 47 mark. On the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.